2004 Volkswagen Jetta, two liter gas engine with a BBW letter code. Customer came in about two weeks ago and it was just in for normal timing belt service and he casually mentioned that he had a couple instances of no start and it ran bad every once in a while. We couldn't duplicate those issues, but it did have a crankshaft position sensor code. Uh, we slapped a crankshaft position sensor on it and uh, did the timing belt service. The, there was a huge oil leak behind the time belt, so the time belt uh, service was urgent uh, or else it would have caused a failure. But he has continued to have uh, repeated instances of no start and it's running bad and he says sometimes when it won't start he can spray it with starting fluid and it'll start. And after that it usually dies again but sometimes it'll continue running and then he can drive the car. Uh, he did drive it here and he said it was running absolutely terrible on the way here. That kind of keys us in on what the problem is, but let's scan it and see what's going on. Here is the code scan just for the engine computer. And we have 17861 exhaust gas temperature sensor open or short to plus. That's P1453, 16684 or PO300 random misfire. Cylinder number four misfire, cylinder number two misfire, cylinder number one misfire. There's that engine speed sensor trouble code again. We replaced that two weeks ago. And then 16687, cylinder number three misfire. And then long term fuel trim additive air bank. Those of you with some experience are probably seeing a pattern here that lets you develop a theory of what's wrong. And I also have a theory of what's wrong. The exhaust gas temperature sensor code is a little random and the engine speed sensor is kind of a discrepancy although I have an explanation for that so the theory would be obviously since the customers having a complaint of no start and he's spraying it and it's starting that the fuel pumps bad so now if we have a theory that the fuel pumps bad why would it have an engine speed sensor code now I think Volkswagen computers have a strategy I can't confirm this it's not like they publish it in any type of uh, service information that when you have a no start situation and you crank the starter for long periods of time if the computer doesn't see the vehicle start it triggers that engine speed sensor but that's my theory anyway on why that engine speed sensor codes there so that might have been a bad decision for us to shotgun a sensor on there but at the time the car wasn't acting up we had to do had to get the timing belt done and customer needed their car so uh, hope, hoping it was fixed it wasn't fixed though unfortunate mistake but here we are let's fix this car um, we'll put a fuel pressure gauge on it and see what it's running okay we've teed in right here and we have our pressure gauge on it and idle here we have 30 psi uh, our spec is 4 bar which should be around 58 psi so that obviously isn't good enough I had the idea to take this for a road test and uh, see if we when we floor it if this pressure dropped because me and Cortland were discussing uh, pressure and pressure drop during under load and stuff like that so we're going to take it for a quick road test and but this might be enough information to condemn the fuel pump obviously we might need to check, take a quick look at the fuel filter we'll go road test it obviously we're driving it and we have the same 30 psi that we had in the bay but uh, we're trying to demonstrate that as we accelerate the pressure drops okay Cortland's flooring it and the car just falls on its face. There's no power whatsoever. Oh, some of the power just returned. But obviously, it's dropping below the 30, and we are seeing the check engine light flashing. Stay on it. And, but definitely a fuel delivery problem. And customer okayed a new fuel pump. We ordered in a nice video original equipment supplied fuel pump. view of my bald head
after getting the wrong fuel pump the first time because uh, turns out we have a metal tank we got the right one here I hope Corlin just finished up the installation of the new fuel pump and I think he's gonna start it while I watch this here fuel gauge maybe just turn it on first go ahead turn it off turn it back on and start it up I think we can probably call that a fixed car well it was an easy diagnosis once we took into account everything that was going on when you add up the misfires the lean trouble codes the intermittent no start that the customer's having and the fact that it was able to start with starting fluid sometimes and but we never could duplicate the no start here but uh, when we had the <clears throat> when we also took into account the fact that at wide open throttle it would misfire and it would fall flat on its face probably if we had looked at fuel trims we would have saw it lean there uh, under those circumstances but we already had a pressure gauge on it at that point and we knew the fuel pump wasn't able to provide the volume at wide open if you'd like to financially contribute to the continued production of these videos, find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com. If you want to watch another technical video on a gasser with a misfire, click that video right there. If you want to watch uh, me and Cortland race to see who is fastest removing a transmission, watch this video right here. And don't forget to click the, the subscribe button.